Coca-Cola Company proudly presents the most famous family in America. Ozzie, Harriet, David, and Ricky. The Nelson family. Who's that? Well, believe it or not, that's Ricky. As you can see, he was between teeth at the time. He <laughs> sure was a cute little guy. Don't tell me that's David. Yeah, that's Dave. He's about two and a half years older. What beautiful curls. Oh, if you think that's something, where do you see this one? Okay, Mom, that's enough. <laughs> David, he's just starting to get interesting. I'll show you the rest of them next time you come over. It's a deal. <laughs> uh, I think this will be all right for you. Where's yours? It's over at the club. Well, then we'll see you tonight, Mrs. Nelson. We're looking forward to it. Have a good game. Thanks, Thank Mom. Oh, hi, Pop. Hi, oh, Mrs. Hi. Nelson. Play some tennis? I'm going to play at it. Dave's too good for me. <laughs> Don't you believe it. She's doing fine. Bye. 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 Oh, June. Yeah? Uh, what time are your folks expecting us? Oh, about 7, I guess, if that's okay with you. That'll be fine. See you at 7. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. Uh, what's this about 7 o'clock? Oh, June's mother's invited us over for dinner. Well, tonight? Yeah. Well, what's the big occasion? No big occasion. She just said her folks would like to meet us. That seems kind of funny. I don't think so. I think it's very thoughtful. June's real nice, don't you think so? Oh, yeah, she's a very nice girl. Who's this? Oh, June Wilson. We were just saying what a nice girl she is. Oh, yeah. In fact, I wish I'd have met her before David did. Well, that reminds me, Rick. You're going to get left alone tonight. Your father and David and I have been invited over to the Wilsons for dinner. Oh, well, that's okay. I was going bowling with Wally. Oh, well, I'll fix you something to eat before we go. Well, well that would be necessary. He can eat out. Do you need any money? Yeah, I could use a few dollars. Five okay? Yes, fine. Thanks, Bob. Okay. Where will you eat? Uh, at Wally's. I'm invited over there for dinner. <laughs> You know, I just thought of something. I was supposed to go bowling with Joe tonight. Really? Well, we didn't make a definite date, but it seems to me he mentioned something about it. Come on, you can go bowling with Joe any night. Well, it doesn't it seem awful funny to you. What? Well, out of a clear blue sky, all of a sudden these people invite us over to dinner. Well, no, they probably feel as if they know us. I think it's very nice. Maybe they have a lot of leftovers. <laughs> well, you ask me, I think it's just possible that June might be the girl. I mean, what girl? Well, you know, the girl for Dave. This might be it. Well, they haven't been going together very long. Well, that doesn't make any difference. I know Dave likes her and she likes him. Are you ready? I think Dave's waiting for us. Well, you're not going to wear that coat, are you? Well, sure. Why not? Well, I thought you'd wear a suit. Well, uh, you don't have to put on a suit just to go to somebody's house for dinner. He probably won't even have a coat on. <laughs> Put a suit on. Now, uh, does this make you happy? Oh, yes. You look very nice. I still don't see why I have to wear a suit. I wear one all day at work, you know. I know that, dear. I just want you to look nice. And you do. You look very nice. Well, I still feel like I'm too dressed up. What's so special about tonight, anyway? What do you mean? You know what I mean. You've got the place all fixed up as if this is the guy June's going to marry. Well, it could be. How do you say that? Did she say something to that effect? Well, no, not exactly, but... Well, I do know they're very fond of each other, and you will try to make a good impression on the Nelsons, won't you, dear? Well, of course I will. Mother! Yes, dear? They just drove up. Oh, Harry, they just drove up. Okay. Do I look all right? Oh, yes, you look lovely, dear. Beautiful. Oh, Harry, put that out. Why? You're smoking up the whole house and it smells awful. What are you talking about? This is a good cigar. Oh, Daddy. Just a minute. Don't open the door yet. But, Mother, they're waiting. <laughs> okay, dear. Hi. Come on in. Hello, June. Mom and Dad. This is Mr. and Mrs. Nelson. How do you do? How do you do? How do you do? Can I get you some more of anything, Dave? Oh, no, thanks, Mrs. Wilson. This is a wonderful dinner. Yeah, it's just great. Well, thank you. I'm glad you like it. Don't forget to give me the recipe for this salad dressing. I'll write it out for you. Dave tells me you're planting quite a few trees around your house. Well, uh, yeah, we're trying to protect our property. Uh, somebody got the next block rezoned, and they're putting up a couple of hideous-looking apartment houses in back of us. Well, of course, you can't stop progress. Well, you call that progress, tearing down beautiful old homes and putting up those architectural monstrosities? Well, I think some of the modern architecture is very effective. Well, I sure don't. Uh, have you seen some of the high schools and colleges they're putting up lately? Uh, they look like prisons. Did you see the fight on television last night, Mr. Wilson? Yeah, how about that? I think somebody got the referee. Well, why do you say that? 
You don't think it was a bad decision? Well, no, it was unanimous, both judges and the referee. Then somebody must have got to all three of them. I think it was the lousiest decision I ever saw in my life. Well, I sure don't. Dave, we'd better hurry if we want to see a movie. Oh, uh, I hope you don't mind. We thought we'd go see a show. Oh, no, go right ahead. Uh, uh, what are you going to see? Oh, we haven't made up our minds yet. Well, whatever you do, stay away from that picture at the Bijou. Oh, is it bad? Well, it's not too good, that's for sure. I kind of liked it. <laughs> well, it has a surprise ending. Did you guess the ending? Oh, sure. Didn't you? Well, I had uh, kind of an idea of what was coming. Well, our little nephew went with us. Now, he's only nine years old, and he guessed it. You make it sound pretty interesting. Maybe we'll go see it. We'll have fun. Thanks. Thanks. We will. Uh, sorry to rush off like this. Oh, that's all right. I'll save your dessert for you. Uh, thanks. Bye. 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 Good night. Say, why don't we have our coffee and dessert in the living room? Oh, good. A lovely room. Thank you, Harriet. Just sit down any place and make yourselves comfortable. Oh, thank you. How about a cigar? Oh. I'm sure the girls won't oh, mind. Uh, no, thanks. Go ahead. I have them made special. Uh, uh, no, thanks. You have one. Oh, maybe later. Harry, will you help me with the dessert, please, dear? Oh, I'll help you. Oh, no. You just sit down, Harriet. Harry will help me. Well, not too much for me. Oh, come on. It's homemade strawberry shortcake. I'll have a big piece. That's what I like, dear. <laughs> Couldn't you try to be a little more agreeable with Mr. Wilson? What do you mean? Well, so far you've disagreed with practically everything he said. Me? What about him? What do you mean? Well, so far you've disagreed with practically everything he said. Me? What about him? Well, at least you could have had a cigar with him. Well, I, I don't happen to want a cigar. At least you could try a little harder. Well, okay. Are you sure you can handle all those? Well, of course I can. Don't drop them. Well, for goodness sakes, dear, will you stop picking on me? I'm not picking on you. Well, if you ask me, I think he's purposely being disagreeable. Shh, here they come. Here we are, folks. Homemade strawberry shortcake. Oh, that looks good. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Oh, it's all right. Those, those things happen. Well, that was a quick shower. Yeah, well, you didn't leave me much hot water. <laughs> well, at least I don't smell like strawberries and whipped cream anymore. Well, those things happen. It was an accident. Well, at least that's what I keep telling myself. <laughs> hi. Oh, hi, Dave. What happened? I thought you'd still be there when we got back. Oh, uh, well, uh, we didn't want to keep him up too late. Did you go to the Bijou? Uh, yeah. You were right, Pop. I've seen better pictures. Oh, uh, 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 Dave, uh, uh, you didn't guess the ending, did you? Well, yeah, as a matter of fact, I did. How'd you like the Wilsons? Oh, they're very nice. Oh, well, yeah, yeah uh, we thought they were very nice. Oh, that's good. I kind of had the feeling you and Mr. Wilson didn't hit it off too well. Oh, really? Well, uh, no, it was a very uh, interesting evening. Uh, after all, who wants a guy to uh, agree with everything you say? Yeah, that's a point. <laughs> well, good night. Uh, good night, Dave. Uh, good night, uh, Dave. It's obvious Dave wants us to like them. Uh, you know, uh, it's, it's just possible I could be wrong about Harry. I mean, it, it might have been just one of those evenings. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, uh, why don't I call him up tomorrow and see if he'd like to play golf with me? Well, yes, I think that'd be very nice. Uh, Harriet, uh, you didn't guess the ending to that picture, did you? No, I didn't. It came as a complete surprise. I like you. <laughs> Thank you, dear. I like you, too. deserting me lately. I thought we were supposed to go bowling a couple nights ago. Oh, well, it, it wasn't definite. Uh, besides, uh, something came up. Yeah, so I heard. What are you talking about? Uh, Harriet told me all about it. I understand you're out here buttering up David's future father-in-law. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'm out here to play golf with him. I'm not buttering him up. Oh, no, if I showed up late, you'd tee off without me. Oh, cut it out. Of course, I don't have an eligible daughter, and I don't have a lot of money. Well, neither does he. That is, he, he doesn't have a lot of money. But he does have an eligible daughter. And you are out here trying to butter him up. I am not. Well, then come on. Let's tee off. I'll play with you. Well, look, the, the man's a couple of minutes late. That could happen to anybody. 
a, a doc's in the clubhouse waiting for a game. Why don't you play with him? Oh, that wouldn't be any fun. I can't beat him. <laughs> Look, Joe. Uh, by the way, uh, when I drive by the house, Harriet gave me a message for you. Uh, what kind of a message? She said to remind you not to lose your temper, for David's sake. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Oh, Oz, uh, you will invite me to the wedding, won't you? Look, uh, th th there may not even be a wedding. Uh, remember what Harriet said. <laughs> Hi, uh, Oh, hi. Am I late? Uh, no, no, no. I, I, I think I, I'm a little early. <laughs> uh, what's take on that, Harry? A seven. Uh, uh, you had a six, didn't you? Oh, no. Don't you remember? My drive went out of bounds. Oh. Well, gee, it seems like losing that new ball should be penalty enough. Uh, rules are rules, Oz. How are we doing? Oh, uh, we're uh, just about even. Oh, no, you're either one or two up on me. Well, uh, maybe you're right. Uh, would you like a Coke? Okay. Uh, I'll have a Coke, please. How about you, Harry? I'll have a Coke, too. You play much golf, Oz? Oh, about once a week. Does Dave play? Uh, yeah, Dave's a real good golfer. Of course, he, he doesn't get as much chance to play now as he used to. He's got that job in the law office. Oh, how long will it be before he takes the bar exams? Oh, uh, uh, not too long. I suppose he'll be opening his own law office. Well, uh, eventually. <laughs> how does he plan to support himself in the meantime? Well, as I say, he's got the job in the law office, and then... Well, uh, he's a pretty resourceful kid. He, he, he'll get along. Sounds like a long, tough struggle. Yeah, I, I guess it is. Uh, would you like a hot dog? No, thanks. Uh, say, we had a, a real nice time at your house the other night. Your, your wife's a good cook. Thanks. Uh, does your daughter cook, too? Not yet. My wife's teaching her, and she's taking domestic science courses at school. Oh. Will it be anything else? Uh, no, I, I guess not. Check, please. No, 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 this is on me. Come on, now, uh, I... Harry, you're my guest. Look, I can pay for a couple of drinks. But I insist. Excuse me, gentlemen, but the check has been taken care of. Well, uh, uh, by whom? Mr. Randolph. He said if there was any argument, to put it on his bill. <laughs> Mr. Randolph? Uh, yeah, he's a, a comedian, I know. <laughs> this looks like a pretty short hole. Uh, yeah, but it's uh, a little tougher than it looks. Water hazard there. Uh, what have you got? Five iron. Do you think I need a four? No, I think you've got too much club. I think an eight or a nine is plenty. Really? Yeah, you see, if you're over the screen, you're, you're in real trouble. I've seen guys lose four and five balls on this hole. I know, but if I'm short, I land in the water. Well, I've been playing the course for years, and I always take a nine iron, and an eight is plenty. Okay, I'll take your club you want to use? Yes, this is the club I want to use. Okay, you'd be right over the green into the water again. <laughs> I told you this was a, a tough hole. How many is that? Uh, uh, counting the four balls you lost, that's uh, ten. But we, we can knock a couple off that. What for? Being a good sport? <laughs> How much do I owe you? <laughs> Will you forget about it, Harry? No, we made a bet and you won it, fair and square. Oh, hi, Oz. <laughs> oh, oh, hi. This is uh, Joe Randolph. This is Harry Wilson. Hello, Joe. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Did you beat him, Harry? No. Well, that's funny. Everybody else does. I guess you haven't been playing very long. About 20 years. <laughs> I can't ever remember playing this badly. Well, he's got the kind of game that'll do that to you. <laughs> you played pretty well. How much do I owe you, Oz? Say, he didn't pull that eight iron bit on the 17th hole, did he, and make you drive into the water? Uh, uh Joe. <laughs> Oz, you didn't. <laughs> See you around. Nice to meet you. Thanks. How much do I owe you? You'd have been very proud of me. I didn't lose my temper once, and believe me, I had plenty of provocation. Well, thank you, dear. I appreciate it, and I know David does, too. Uh, did Harry say anything about Dave in June? Well, he asked a few questions about Dave's job and his financial situation. You know, things like that. Oh, evidently it is serious. Well, either that or the man's just plain nosy. 
he strikes me as being that kind of a guy. Well, if he's going to be David's father-in-law, you better try and get along with him. Harry, <laughs> I've tried, but I just don't like the man. I've, I've leaned over backwards to be nice to him, but to be honest with you, if I never see him again, it'll be too soon. How about tonight? Is that too soon? <laughs> What's this? Well, I spoke to Edith today, and we're all going to the movies together. Oh, Harriet. Hi. Hi. Well, well, hi, Dave. How'd the golf game go? Oh, uh, uh, okay, I guess. How'd you get along with Mr. Wilson? Uh, well, uh, we're all going to the movies together tonight. Oh, good. Uh, four, please. There's seating in the first two rows only. Oh, uh, just a second. Uh, what do you think? There's seating in the first two rows only. Well, I don't mind sitting in the first row, do you girls? It's up to you. Well, I always get a stiff neck from looking up. It's not that close to the screen, not in this theater. Come on, dear, we might as well. Okay. Uh, four, please. Oh, yes, I thought it was wonderful. I like comedies anyway. I thought it was real good. Did you like it, Oz? Well, uh, uh, my neck's a little stiff from looking up at the screen. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> oh, I, I can fix that for you in no time. Oh, no, that, that's okay. Yeah, it'd be easier if you were sitting down. Oh, well, uh... Hey, come on over and sit on well, the curb. No, no, no. Harry is wonderful. He fixes my neck all the time. Now, just relax. Careful. <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah, that, that's that's fine. Want me to do it again? No, no, no. no. You feel better? Yeah, that's good. How's my coat? Oh, it's not too bad. When the mud dries, I'll brush it off. I tried. Yes, you did. He's a nice guy, but we just don't seem to hit it off. I know. Well, that's the last time. Yes, dear. Until tomorrow night. What's this? Well, I made a date with Edith to take them out. After all, we do owe them a dinner. Oh, Harriet. <laughs> you do have your shoes off, don't you? Come on, cheer up. It's not going to be that bad. At least we'll have a good dinner. Well, I'm sorry, Harry, but I just don't feel comfortable around the man. Have a good time. Oh, uh, thanks, Dave. Well, it looks like you're going to have a party. Well, yeah, I invited a few friends over. I hope it's all right. Oh, sure. Good night, dear. Good night, Mom. Good night, Dave. Good night, have Pop. a good time. <laughs> I wonder how the party's getting on. Oh, they're, they're probably having a great time. June says David is a wonderful dancer. Oh, thank you. They seem to get along very well together, don't they? They certainly do. Do you folks care for any dessert? Oh, no, I don't think so, thank you. Just coffee for me, please. Uh, Harry? Uh, no. How about you? Oh, uh, no, uh, no dessert for me. I, I have to watch the old weight. <laughs> yeah. I noticed that when we were playing golf the other day. Of course, I will say this. It doesn't show when you're sitting down. <laughs> I'll have a piece of chocolate cake and a large scoop of vanilla ice cream on the side. Hi. Oh, hi, Bob. Hi. Oh, hi, Mr. Chris Wilson. Uh, I think you know Sharon and Wally, don't you? Hello. Oh, hello, kids. Tell June we're not checking up on her. We just dropped by to say hello. Oh, okay. Would you like a sandwich? They're awful good. No, thank you. We just finished dinner. How about a Coke? I'd love it. Sounds wonderful. I think I may try one of those if you don't mind. Fine. Would you like ham or chicken? Doesn't make any difference. They all look good. Uh, uh, Pop? Oh, yes, Dave. Do the Wilsons think that June is here? Well, yeah, isn't she? No. What's the matter? Did you two have a fight? Oh, no. She's got a date. She went to the movies. Well, we thought you and June were going steady. No. We've gone out together a couple of times, but there's nothing serious. Is, is something the matter? Oh, uh, 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 no. Uh, uh, June has gone to the movies. She isn't here. Did you two have a fight? Uh, no. no. It, Evidently, you got the wrong idea, Mom. <laughs> uh, she's a real nice girl, but we're not going steady or anything. Hey! Uh, I'll be right there, Mary. I hope you're not disappointed. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, that's okay. 
<laughs> Looks like we, we jumped to the wrong conclusion. Hey, this is wonderful. Now I don't have to be nice to June's father anymore. Oh, Oz, you don't mean to say. Well, it's true, I don't. Oz, you just gotta try one of these sandwiches. They're great. Oh, uh, well, uh, no thanks. Say, uh, we just heard some rather surprising news. You mean that June isn't here? Well, uh, yeah, how did you hear about it? Wally just told us. I guess my woman's intuition was wrong. I kind of thought David and June were pretty serious about each other. Well, uh, I guess we all did. Well, you don't seem too upset about it, Harry. Well, to be honest with you, do you know what was the first thing I said to Edith? Oh, Harry. I might as well be honest with a man. What was it, Harry? I said, well, at least now I don't have to be nice to Ozzy anymore. <laughs> now, 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 that's a fine thing to say. Oh, cut it out now, Oz. I bet you thought the same thing about me. He not only thought it, he said it. <laughs> you know, uh, the funny part of this is I really like you, Harry. Well, I like you too, Oz. Maybe you two ought to get married. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. You didn't let me finish, Harriet. I like Oz as long as he's not in the family. Well, I, I guess maybe we were both trying a little too hard. <laughs> Say, here's an idea. It's still early. Now, why don't you come over to our house for a while? We'll sit around, play bridge, and maybe have a few laughs. Oh, I don't know. Oh, come on. It sounds like fun. Especially now that you two guys aren't glaring at each other anymore. That did it. Come on, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> drive over in our car and then you won't have to drive us back. Whatever you say. Oz, let's you and I ride together. It'll give me a chance to apologize to you. Are you kidding, Harry? I'm the one who should apologize to you. Oh, hi. 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 Rick and I went to the movies. <laughs> you and Rick? Yeah. That sounds like the party's still going strong. Well, see you later. See you later. Okay. Well, how about that? Rick and June out on a date. Well, that's an interesting turn of events. <laughs> Shall we go? Say, Oz, do you want me to drive your car so you don't get lost? Are you kidding? I know the way. You down Forest Avenue to Maple Street and turn left. No, no, that's the long way. You go down Forest Avenue to Green Street and turn right. Well, those stop signs would be all night. Well, Maple Street's all torn up. Relax, will you, fellas? This is only their first date. <laughs>